What is going on guys, your boys here, bringing you guys yet another 2D banner tutorial. I know you guys really enjoy these series, I enjoy making them, showing you guys some new improvements and stuff for your banners, and all around just like cool styles and like all these tips and tricks. So yeah, we're going to be trying to do something like this, and also a really quick shout out, you see how this like really cool, I'm going to show you how to do this, this backing right here, this like uh, this orange in the back right here. I'm going to show you how to do this, it's very very sick, and uh, it's actually shown to me by Cray Studios. Uh, at Cray Studios, follow him on Twitter. Link in the description below. Go follow him right now. Be like, yo, I saw you on Seso's tutorial, sick idea, whatever. He showed me how to do this background, uh, and it looks—I don't know—I feel, feel like more. Uh, how do I say it? Uh, more just satisfy my work, and I feel like I've been doing this ever since. Also, the CC I'm gonna be showing you guys with it uh, all around just changes your, it just enhances everything. Your CC, your color, all that cool stuff. So it's a very information tutorial, as long as as well as the layer style here. And also showing you guys how to separate these letters as well, because I don't know a lot of people don't know how to do that, and I'm gonna show you how to do that right now. Uh, so yeah, if I was gonna give myself some opinions on this banner, I'd obviously be like, yeah, this is blah right now because it's only just a text and whatnot. I'd probably add more stuff like you know, you know, social medias over here, something like that, and like follow my store, or something over here, just kind of like fill the space some more. That's how I would, how I would try to give myself opinions right now. Uh, so this is not like perfect, obviously. So anyways, we're gonna start off with the backing, and then we're gonna go off to the CC, then we're gonna go off to the borders. And then the text. So we're gonna start off the back, and like I said, and for this black to get how I got this black here, it's just if you just copy any hashtag. If you ever watch my tutorial and want to get the same color I have, I'll just copy the hashtag of the color. You should get the same as that color. So we just copy the hashtag, press OK, Alt uh, Backspace to auto fill the layer, and then you're ready to go. So we're gonna make a new layer as well, and I'm gonna go to uh, make a nice dark blue. We're gonna go to here, make a dark blue, and like I said, if you want the same color, just copy the hashtag, type it in yours. And ready to go. So alt backspace again to get this uh, nice dark blue, and that's just auto fill it. And after that, we're gonna go to our new layer. Go to our brush. We're gonna press B on our keyboard. We're gonna make a new layer, a uh, new color as well. And then we're gonna go to white. Change it to white. So with the brush on white, uh, we also press Control Alt right click, move it left and right to change the diameter of your you know your uh, your brush and whatnot. And just click it one time in the middle. That's about probably about two thousand. And then just go to here, soft light. Change the opacity to about 90. After that, we can control click on this and then control E to merge this together. And then we actually have a nice simple gradient. But now I want a noise gradient, like a noise textured gradient. So I'm going to make another duplicate. Or I'm going to make a duplicate, press control J. And I'm going to go to filter, noise, add noise, amount 1.1, press it OK. And then now you have a nice beautiful noise gradient. Uh, for some reason, I just feel like these look so, so good. But we're not done yet. With the CC now, it's going to make it more, uh, like, basically more enhanced and stuff, like, the, all the colors and stuff. So you can see how the CC for this, or the color for this is, like, nice and vibrant. Everything looks all nice and pop out and whatnot. We're going to show you how to do that. For the CC, uh, try, try to keep the same CC as uh, we have. Because also, with the CC is how we're going to change our color. You're never going to change this to a different color. This blue right here, you're never going to change this blue. Uh, you're never going to change, like, a, to a dark pink or whatever, dark purple. You're just going to use a dark blue. And for your CC, with the hue and saturation we're going to use is how you're going to be able to change your color. So anyways, we're going to make a new group, we're just going to call it CC, and then after that we're going to click on the group, and we're going to go to our little half circle, this is the little half circle right here, this is basically where every like little CC, little layer things are. So now we're going to go to curve, <clears throat> for our first one, try to copy the same exact order so it's the same exact as mine, and you can use it. We're going to make a simple, simple slant S here, uh, you kind of see what I did here, just like goes a little loop, and then a little loop over here, simple little S. And then after that, we're going to click it here again, brightness and contrast, and change our brightness to 50, and our contrast to 2. You can see automatically our, our color went like from like kind of like dull to like more vibrant now. <clears throat> After that is hue and saturation, and this is a big big key. If you go on long tutorial, you do not follow this one step right here. It's gonna look so different. You're gonna be like ew. Anyways, <laughs> try and oh uh, not try. Make sure you select this little box to colorize the hue and saturation. If you do this, this makes your hue and saturation way way more better. I promise you, if you do not do this, like all around for probably all your seasons, try and see what happens if you change your colorize and or change it to colorize. Make sure you do. It kind of like makes everything nice and controlled with a like changing your saturation, your hue. It doesn't like kind of like filter and mess around, like make it like your uh, like parts you don't want to have like some kind of like noise texture on. Uh, just like distorted. Just make sure you guys click colorize and you're ready to go. Saturation changes to 70. And then, like I said, this is the hue and saturation. The top thing is how you're going to change your color and whatnot. So I'm going to change it to a nice red or an orange. I'm going to change it to 19. There we go. Anyways, uh, you can, like I said, if you want any, uh, any other color, just change this like through the bar and whatnot. <clears throat> After that, the last thing you're going to do is the vibrance, which is right over here. And then just going to change this to 70, uh, 75. And then we're good to go. So then you have a simple CC, and then you have this, like, like I said, this nice soup, like, I don't know, sweet backing to it. And you got this nice gradient, nice noise texture, and you're ready to go. 
<coughs> excuse me, my bad. Anyways, <clears throat> after that, you're done with the CC. And like I said, you have this template, but you don't have the CC. So make sure you probably save this right now where you have it. So you have this every other time you open it up and whatnot, and you're ready to go. So anyways, let's go start with the borders now and whatnot. So we're going to press Control H to unhide these rulers. I'm going to make a simple border here. And how to make your borders like look cool and whatnot, just kind of like have a little, like a little, like a little slide down a little bit, like damp, like damp it down. What, what am I trying to say here? I don't know if I'm trying to find the word. What am, I, what am I trying to look for? Anyways, have a little slant here. And oh, is that the word? Yes. Yeah, oh my god. Anyways, go halfway. Do not go all the way and try to like copy the same thing you did over here. Uh, make sure it's halfway. Let's go. Let's go halfway. So you're gonna complete it. Go up. Just follow this blue, uh, this blue uh, ruler here. Because if you try and like copy the same thing, it's not the same. It's not symmetrical, and you're gonna be like, eh, I don't like it. And you're gonna be like, why do I like it? It's because it's not symmetrical. So make sure it's symmetrical. Go halfway. And I'm gonna make a duplicate of the layer. So on the new layer, I'm gonna right click, go to fill path, go to drop down, use black, press OK, then right click, delete path, and then press Control H, and then you're ready to make another. Uh, you're ready to actually duplicate it now. So you're gonna go press Alt and Shift. Uh, Alt is how you freely just duplicates a layer and move it around. If you hold, if you hold Alt and Shift, if you move it to the right or wherever direction you want to move it first to make a duplicate and move it to the side or whatever, uh, you can only go to the right. So if I go to up and down, I can't go up and down because I moved it to the right already and you can only go right and left. And so that, it's going to go like this. You can move it over, press Control T, and then right click, oop, Control T, right click, flip horizontal, and then like so. And uh, for some reason, I don't really like how like thick this is. <clears throat> if you don't like how thick yours is either, uh, this is how you would change it. I'm just going to move it up a little bit and... Uh, Let's say about there. Let's say if I wanted to fix it. So right now, if I try to duplicate it and move it down, how would you know, like, really, like, how perfect? You want to make sure it's as perfect as possible. We're going to delete the rest of it. So we're going to go to here, go to the marquee tool, and then delete this just because I want to make sure it's perfect. So we're going to delete that. Just delete key on your keyboard, and you're ready to go. And then we can now press Alt-Shift, move it down. Since I moved it down, I can't go left and right. So that's, like, when you hold Shift and Alt, so just so you know. And then Control-T right click flip uh, vertical and then you're ready to go so there we go so now we have this we can control click control e now merge this all together and now we're going to do is going to lower the fill not the opacity if you lower the opacity it's going to lower our uh, layer styles too uh, our layer style opacity as well so if you lower our fill only it does not lower any of the like layer styles like opacity and you don't want that so anyways we lower our fill let's say to about 35 or so i think that's good we're going to double click over here so it can open up this layer styles uh, layer style Anyways, we're gonna go to stroke, and I'm gonna change our stroke size to one, and then our color to white, like so. And then we're gonna change our blend mode to soft light. After that, we're gonna go to our, uh, let's say drop shadow here, and I'm gonna change this to zero, five, ten, and so, like so. So we have this really nice, sweet layer style right here. <clears throat> you can kinda see how it looks right, right now. And uh, I just, I don't know, it looks very, very sick so far. It's like all around the colors and whatnot, the vibrance. It's very eye appealing and whatnot. Eye appealing, eye catching. There we go. Anyways, so yeah, you have this cool, sweet, like, border. So right here, you're like, all right, what do I do next? Uh, let's see if you want to do another one, like, inside. And if you want to, like, you can also, as well, like, make it even more cooler and probably have, like, you know, have, like, the middle one, like, kind of, like, follow along this. I'm just going to do something just random and whatnot, just so you can get the idea. So I'm going to put my rules up again and go halfway over here. And I'm just gonna do. I'm just gonna do one little dip here, and then here. Then go halfway over here as well, holding Shift makes straight lines. And then go here, and then hold Shift here. Connect it on the new layer. Right click, fill path. Drop down, use black. Right click, delete path. Control H to hide these rulers again, and then Alt Shift to move it over. Control T for the uh, free transform, and then flip horizontal, and then connect them, holding Shift so it's perfect. And then there, here we go. So after that, uh, is this perfect? Is this is this messed up? No, there we go. Anyways, Control, Control E to merge it, and then so we don't have to do anything else and like make sure everything's messed up or whatever. Have the same layer style. We can just go to our first ever overlays, copy layer style, and then paste them to this one, so it's perfect and does it matches and all that. So this is looking very very sick so far. I didn't, like I really I really like this so far. So anyways, to make the text now. We're just gonna use like 60. Let's so let's go with 60, and we're gonna go to type in Seso HQ, and you can see how mine are separated. Yours might 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 not be separated. Like I said, also I'm using the Bank Gothic text. You can download in the description below. And I'm gonna move this. Make sure you move the text over the CC because it messes things up a little bit. And you can see how my like my words are kind of more separated than yours probably when you type out. So if you press Control A or double click on your with the text tool and you make sure you highlight everything and press Control T, 
this little table comes up and like I said you can also change the same thing over here you can change the height and whatnot or the size of the font also you can change this VA right here is how you would change the separation between the letters you can go all the way and whatnot and like have it like separated as all hell but I'm just gonna go to here let's say 200 or you can just do like so I don't know something like that there we go like that and I'm also gonna make another duplicate I'm gonna do what I did before I'm gonna put let's just put student graphic designer let's go with that and then we're gonna make this six uh, or so and then I'm gonna split this all the way so it is matched up with the Q and T or the Q and the S over here so I don't know, just play around with this stuff like this is what kind of like helps fill the banner and whatnot and uh, so let's just go with that something like that and if you weren't like a graphic designer if you were like a a cod you know whatever you're doing on YouTube and whatnot whatever you're commentating or whatever gameplay or whatever you want to do probably have some kind of like cool description uh, under your name and whatnot because your main your name is obviously the main text uh, so make sure that's the biggest and whatnot so anyways uh, to fill out this more band like I said I'll put like social media links over here uh, you know stores products over here and whatnot just kind of like fill the banner but last but not least this tutorial is the layer settings for the text which is basically bevel and emboss I don't know if how to say that word I never knew how to I should probably look it up and then change the depth to 4 to 50 change the opacity to about 40 and then change your opacity to the black to 35 and then after that you can go to gradient overlay change the blend mode to soft light uh, and then just change your passage about uh, let's say 25 and then change your drop shadow distance to one change your blend mode to soft light and then you're all done and you're ready to keep on you know doing other things over here like I said social media follow me on Twitter Facebook whatever stuff like that and so yeah I don't know I really enjoy this like I said if you ever want to change the color just change your hue and saturation so uh, yeah I would just be like you know change the color and whatnot that's how I do it and so yeah anyways I hope you really enjoyed this tutorial like I said follow at create designs on uh, Twitter as long as myself as well as myself at SSO HQ I'll show you how to do the backing and so yeah anyways thank you guys so much for watching like I said 200 likes on the video equals the secret download in the description below I'll uh, get this cool little random pack that I put out it's, uh, it's always this cool special thing so it can be something really crazy or something like minor but it'll also help you so if you like the video and you come back at 200 likes it's gonna be down there so make sure you guys enjoy that anyways I'll uh, give some opinions on what other tutorials want to see also this is my last ever video on my old computer I'm getting a new computer it's actually I already have I've been had it for like a week I gotta put it together so my next videos will be on the uh, the new computer and also I'm gonna be able to do intros for you guys so it's gonna be sick I don't know it's gonna be all around crazy so anyways thank you guys so much for watching let's switch you out peace